You're watching Sea Dogs TV. scrimmage was uh, lacking a bit of passion uh, for the game but you know we'll address that tomorrow morning with uh, 
some of the young recruits showed some some really good things. I was pretty happy with uh, Macaulay and Walker, Delosa. You know, I thought uh, Scotty Howes' little brother did really good. I thought he had a great day, uh, good practice this morning, and a great scrimmage. So you know, we had, uh, those guys showed some good things. I thought uh, Gagne looked good, and, uh, and Nathan Bowie looked good also. And uh, you know, there's they're still young kids and gonna make mistakes, but overall, we're pretty happy with today. Yeah. Now you watch uh, from up in the stands. What what does that give you uh, for perspective? What do you what do you guys sit up and watch from the stands? Well, I'm trying to look at everything, you know, the big picture, and uh, you know we're looking at our depth, uh, you know, for the future years, but also for this year. So we're just trying to get a good handle on on everything here for the next few days. I probably won't coach the exhibition games either. I'll probably uh, just sit in the crowd and, uh, and let Jim and Greg and uh, Bobby Kane take care of the bench. A little more removed from. From the action that way. And yeah, and I could see more. You know, when you're coaching, you're you're involved in the game, you're looking for line changes and strategy. And you know, while I'm in the crowd, I can just concentrate on on the players. Yeah. So now, will you meet like with scouts every night and kind of, you know, take stock of where you're at? Progress no, absolutely. Yeah, we're going in the conference room right now and in, uh, in our offices and. Uh, we're going to be evaluating every player and see where they fit in on our depth chart. And uh, you know, it takes a couple hours, but we'll do that, uh, you know, after at the end of each day. What do you think your goalies today? Um, I thought Robert was okay. Um, you know, I thought uh, Corral Saint Laurent had a very good day. And, uh, you know, Nick was uh, was okay, and, and passing him was was average also. Mm -hmm. No fights uh, today. Is that uh, is that a Team thing, or is that just the way the game went? Today? No, I think it's good. I mean, we're not here to see if they can fight. We want to see them play hockey. And this is what it's all about. But, uh, you know, if we will have if we need an enforcer, we'll get an enforcer. We have guys that are on our team right now that can take care of business. I mean, I don't want to see a 16-year-old or a 17-year-old fighting a 20-year-old right now. It's it's kind of it's kind of foolish, and we don't want no way to get hurt here. And what's uh, the Duke status? Did you find it any more about him today? Well, it's not very good. Um, we got uh, we talked to Dr. Neil Manson today. He'll probably have surgery in three to four weeks. Um, he's got an ACL, uh, MCL, and meniscus uh, uh, tear, so he probably won't play hockey for us till after January. Oh wow! Yeah. If at all, like, that's if at all, that's it's the serious. second time on the same knee, so it's uh, it's very serious. It's a long rehab and. You know, it's an unfortunate accident. He fell in a pothole when he was taking a jog in the morning. So, you know, those things happen. As an organization, we got to move on, and you know, we got to help him rehab and you know get him back in in good health. And uh, you know, he can help us in the second half of the season. How big of a blow? Is oh, it's that? big. I mean, he could have been it's number big. two center. Right? Yeah, he's probably been number three center this year with us. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's taken some skill out of our lineup for sure. Mm -hmm. We'll have to replace it somehow. Uh, you know, either with a transaction or, or move some of our kids up.